In today's video, we're going to dive into marketing design. And specifically, we're going to be creating multiple banners and formats for social media and display ads. We will be using a Figma tool that I have created that helps you to generate all these formats instantly and thus saving you tons of time every time you use it. If you'd like to learn more about this tool, check the videos in the description. Now, let's take a look at what we have here. Here we have some kind of creative brief, which is essentially um, some kind of input that will serve as instructions for creating an online marketing campaign. We have a headline, we have a description, we have a call to action, we have the product image, and we have formats that we need to create. And of course, these formats over here, they match these formats we can generate over here. These are the you know, the 21 most frequent, most uh, used formats for display ads and social media. What's gonna happen now is I'm gonna essentially take all these pieces of information and I'm gonna insert them here, which in turn will generate these formats automatically for us. And of course, if you'd like to download this tool, make sure to check the link on the screen and in the description below. So let's get started right now. Our headline says, save hours of boring work. As you can see, we're gonna be creating an ad for this tool in this tool. I feel like that's a, that's a good use case to start with. Um, so let, let's see, this says safe hours of boring work and also you can see it has some kind of special font. It's a type of font that I use that's called Balboa and uh, we're gonna be updating the headline over here which will in turn update all the headlines on the right side. So let me just copy this over here. Uh, it will say um, safe hours of boring work. So, just so you can see the changes being updated here, I'm gonna press select the component called headline, then add a text within that component, and I'm gonna press enter and type in save hours of boring work. You can see it updated the headlines all over here. I'm also gonna change the font to Balboa and it's gonna be condensed, Balboa condensed. You can see all of these being updated in real time. And then I'm going to also set the uppercase for all these headlines over here, right? For our description, we're gonna use uh, this text over here that says, this Figma tool is a lifesaver for all marketing designers instantly design 21 social media and display ad formats with no effort. I'm gonna copy this and then I'm gonna go over here and again select this component, select the text within that component and under content I'm gonna paste the text right here. So this will in turn again update all of these texts on all these banners. And as you can see, it gets a bit um, busy in terms of layout. So we're just probably gonna have to uh, shorten this a little bit. So uh, let's, just, let's just delete the first sentence and just keep the instantly designed 21 social media and display ad formats with no effort. I'm gonna remove this. Yeah, I think um, I think this looks better. Uh, of course, when you get a creative brief from a client, you probably don't want to do this. Um, if they provide you with a specific brief, you want to uh, respect that, but at the same time, you can also push back a little and say, hey, uh, this is maybe too long for our purpose. This is too long for these campaigns. So. Um, there definitely a discussion needs to happen before you make a change like this when working with a client. Small tip that I have found to be useful <clears throat> when working with clients. And what we also get here is a buy now button. So I'm gonna change that to buy now with the price in brackets, which is buy now 12.99. Let me change this to 12, 12.99. Right. Then we have this uh, screenshot over here that will serve as a product image, which means I'm gonna copy this and then select the visual component and paste that inside, right? You can see it updates across all of these banners. So let me just um, change the size. Let me remove the stroke. Let me do some rounding and then remove or hide the previous image so that we just get, you know, this single, single image. Right, let me actually change the size. I think around this size seems right. And then I'm gonna copy this background that I use often into a group. I'm gonna press Command X and then Command V onto um, our individual background shapes. So as you can see, when I paste the background over here, all the vertical formats get updated. 
uh, with, of course, um, the position being uh, incorrect. So let me just change the size of this by using the key scale tool, right? And then I'm just going to move this, I'm going to position it somehow um, so that final outcome looks uh, reasonable. So let's just, for example, this, this covers the entire area. And then I'm just going to also paste that here. Make sure it goes all the way to the sides, right? Like this, and then paste again right here and also make sure it goes to the sides and that the layout is somewhat uh, all right. So as you can see, now we have updated the background on all of these banners. Of course, as you can see as well, the text and the position of the image, the size of the image is on some, in some instances is not optimal, but we're gonna fix that um, later in the video. First of all, we're gonna have to change the headline color from black to white. So let me select the headline component and the text directly and then change the color to white. As you can see, it updated across all these instances. Again, same with the description. And maybe let's reduce the opacity to like 60, 70, so that um, the text, the description is a bit uh, less prominent than the headline. I'm also going to change this button. So let me just copy the style from this ball and I'm gonna just remove the fill and paste that. Um, this looks a bit crazy, we'll, we'll have to fix the colors uh, somehow. Let me just set up the rounding for this button. As you can see, the button is now updated across all these banners. I think um, we're gonna, or let's just keep it simple and leave that at black, right? I'm gonna also blur the shadow a little bit and just let's see what this looks like. Yeah, I think this is better. And of course we need to update the logo. So let me go over here and use my logo and then paste that into our logo component, right? Center it and then hide the previous layer, align that to the left, which should update the logo across all these banners, right? Let me just make sure that M starts at the very left edge of the logo component. Let me actually increase the size of this logo a little bit. Yeah. And let's see what's the outcome. And then also let's make the rounding of this image a bit more prominent. Let's go for like 80, align that to the left and maybe decrease the size a little bit so that it fits better onto our layouts. So that will be the first phase. As you can see, we've updated all of these uh, components, all of these instances. And of course, these banners, they are not going to be perfect everywhere. But we're gonna fix that in the second stage. And the second stage is where we go through each individual banner and just position these elements so that it's optimal, right? So for example, when a specific size doesn't work for this specific banner or this specific position of the image doesn't work for this specific banner, we're gonna update that. So let's go through each of those and do some manual adjusting, which is also going to be very quick. So here, for example, I think we could do a larger headline. So let's, instead of 80, let's go for 120 and increase the line height. Similarly, we're gonna do that here. Increase the font size and increase the height of the line. Same here, and maybe even position this group of elements downwards and increase the size of this image, right? Um, then same here, position that somewhere more downwards, increase the size of the logo, make it bigger, you know, and also change the position of this image a little bit and change the size like this. Right? That's why I keep a backup of this file that is blank, where everything is reset, so you can make adjustments every time you use it. Here, for example, we have a mistake where the button is below the image. We're gonna fix that by doing command option right bracket. We're gonna move the image above, uh, the button above the image, and then again, increase the size of this text, add some line height, and that's good to go, I think. Um, here, we're gonna, I think, um, we're gonna change the size of this image again to about this size. We're gonna update font size of the headline. Yep, I think this works. Here, we're gonna center the logo. We're gonna move this, we're gonna move this text more to the right and also increase the font size. But otherwise, you know, everything's in place. What I'm doing right now are very fast manual adjustments that are going to make sure each banner is perfect. So again, font size. And for example, here, this little circle 
is kind of interfering with our text. We're gonna change that by uh, going all the way to the background and then searching for this small ellipse and then hiding it, right? You can also do that. As, as you can see, it looks, it looks better now. Um, this image over here needs some resizing, maybe moving it uh, over here or maybe changing the width of this text object. And again, font size. Here we probably have to change the size of the button. So at this point, I went through all these images and did some adjustments. Just took a few minutes to um, change the font size and position in, in some of these and also logo sizes in some of these banners. Now, of course, with this level of automation, with this level of automatic generating of images, basically um, not all of these are going to be perf perfect. But um, if your client, for example, says, well, in this specific size, 7 to 8 by 90, I would like to position this uh, button to the left or to the right, or maybe decrease the width of the, of the text, you can easily go in and make these adjustments. But uh, overall, uh, since we didn't have to create all these um, frames and position all these elements, this saved hours of time for us, right? I can, for example, do a next iteration on this project. I can choose to highlight a specific word. And since we did all these adjustments, since we already uh, generated all these banners, uh, this will be very extremely, in fact, easy to update, right? So as you can see, we've updated one word that is going to be updated across all these banners. So what, what I need to do next is select all these banners and then go to export and click on export 21 layers, which is gonna open a window for us where we can save our banners. I'm going to click, click save. And then what I get is a, is a group of banners, as you can see, which contains what we have defined in our what we have defined in Figma. And if, for example, you find that one specific banner, for example, this one, uh, let's see, 300 by 250 is somehow broken, somehow it's not ideal, so you can just go in, find that specific banner, so that's this one, do these adjustments, you know, change the font size, and then you can just generate this again. So again, export 300 by 250, export that to the same folder, and that's gonna update the final outcome, right? Uh, the key thing is we have saved tons of time. You can then send all of these to your client or just use them if that's your own ad campaign and maybe use this tool again for a different project. But this is the final outcome. These are the banners that we have created. If you need, of course, you can also export these in 2x in 200% resolution. Uh, to optimize for retina displays. But yeah, this is the final outcome. This is where the time saving is at. So if you'd like to download the tool, if you'd like to buy this uh, tool for your marketing design project, make sure to check the link in the description. Thanks for tuning in. Leave a like if this video helped you and I will see you in the next one.